morning and welcome to my channel. My name is Elizabeth and if you're new here, I'm living in the light by documenting my healthy lifestyle. I recently lost 160 pounds and now I am working to maintain that weight loss and trying to do it the easy way and not gain weight back. And I love to be able to share not only healthy recipes with you, but also some encouraging tips and ideas to help you do the same. I would also invite you to please just scroll down a little bit, give this video a thumbs up. It lets me know that you like this kind of content. And as well, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would invite you to subscribe. Join me as we learn how to cook healthy things and just how to live a healthy lifestyle all around. So subscribe and feel free to share my videos with your friends as well. I would love to have you do that. Today, I wanted to talk to you specifically about how to transition from a weight loss uh, lifestyle into a healthy living lifestyle. Now, a lot of what I'm gonna talk about is going to talk directly to people who were on or are on the Optavia program. However, these concepts are applicable to anybody who is trying to lose weight or who has lost weight. So don't tune this out or tune this, turn this off if you haven't done Optavia because the concepts really do apply no matter what weight loss program you, you are using. The first thing that I wanted to say is congratulations. I know from my own experience how much work goes into losing weight. A lot of us have lived a life of dieting and we have yo-yo dieted and tried numerous programs and congratulations on finding one that helped you to lose weight. And if you've reached your goal weight, um, amazing congratulations to you. I, I know that it is a hard row. How do I know that this, that I'm not gonna gain the weight back? I don't know that, but I do know that I worked really hard to lose 160 pounds and I am gonna work as hard, if not harder, at keeping the weight off. And this is something that I cannot lose focus on. And I have to put thought into maintaining my weight loss. The first thing that I wanted to share is that when you are moving from whatever program you used to lose weight to a healthy lifestyle, is you need to make the changes slowly. If you are following the Optavia 5-in-1 program, Optavia actually has a six-week transition program that does take you slowly from weight loss into maintenance. Most likely, any weight loss program that you're using has you on um, lower has you, you eating fewer calories than your body would need to maintain your weight loss. And if you are adding back calories, you want to add those things back slowly. I recently had an interaction on social media with someone who said that they, um, they transitioned, but they, uh, they gained weight the first week of transition. And my question was, did you just, did you follow the five in one program? And the, the response back basically was no. Um, and what they didn't do what Optavia said to do, they did that, but then they added some other stuff back. And if you want to follow the program and you want the program to work, you've got to trust the way the program is set up. So let me just give you a little visual. I did this in my uh, Zoom call about transition a couple of weeks ago and everybody loved my little visual. This is a six cup muffin tin. And on the Optivia 5 and Run program, you eat six times a day. You eat every two to three hours. And honestly, that is a habit that should be instilled in you that you will or you should follow for life if you want to maintain your weight loss. Will you do this every single day? No, I imagine there will be some days where I may not be able to eat six times uh, but for the most part, I eat, I still eat six times a day and I eat six small meals. I have more calories, but I still eat six small meals a day. So this 
uses Optivia fueling. So these are my five fuelings, right? This is a typical day, five fuelings. And I realize this is not a lean and green. It's got beans in it. So don't look at this as a five in one thing, but this is just a visual of, this is a meal. It's not really, um, but we're just gonna pretend that it is. So five fuelings one lean and green. This is what you do on the weight loss program. You eat every two to three hours. And for week one of transition is this exact same thing. So don't change anything. Still eat six times a day. Still eat your five fueling. Still eat your one lean and green. But you're going to add in a cup of vegetables somewhere in this day you're going to add a cup of vegetables. Now, I wouldn't add it to my lean and green meal because that already has a lot of calories in it. Matter of fact, a typical day for me would be four fuelings, my lean and green at dinner time, and then my uh, a, another fueling before bed. That was typically my setup. And I'm gonna move this over here too because the soup was typically my third one. So, I am going to start out my day. I'm going to have a fueling. I'm gonna have maybe another fueling. And then I am going to take half of my extra cup of vegetables and I'm going to have it with this fueling. And then I'm gonna have my other cup, half cup here. I might have a half cup here or I might put it here, but somewhere during the day, I'm going to have a half a cup with one fueling and a half a cup with another fueling. Really what I'm doing is increasing my calories by about 50 calories by adding that extra cup of vegetables. If you don't have to count, uh, for those of you who are on Optivia, um, during weight loss and transition, you don't need to count calories, you don't need to count macros, just for right now, do not worry about that. Don't start to think, oh, I've got to, I've got to start tracking everything. I've got to start planning everything. I've got to, I've got to count the calories. You don't have to do that right now. Just trust the program. If you're not on Optivia and you're transitioning, you're going to slowly add back in calories. And by doing it 50 calories a week at a time, you can do that very slowly and keep an eye on what's happening on the scale. That's how simple week one is. I plan on doing these weekly so that you can see week two, week three, week four, et cetera. And we'll go all the way through one week at a time. So if you are just starting transition, this is a great place to start. Please do a couple of things for me. Number one, don't get complacent. You did a lot of work to lose weight. Don't start to relax and say, well, I don't have to eat six times a day anymore. I don't have to worry about drinking all my water. I don't have to remember to count all of my condiments or count weigh my vegetables. Keep doing that. You are establishing healthy habits. I still weigh my uh, fruits and vegetables. I still weigh my leans. I want to make sure that I'm getting accurate amounts. And uh, for me, that is just the best way to know that I'm maintaining. And if my weight goes up, then I know what I did and what I can, what I can do to undo what I've done. So do keep that in mind. Um, don't get complacent. Um, don't try to change too much. So don't think, oh, well, I don't want to do the Octavia oatmeal anymore. I'm going to make my own oatmeal. I don't want to do the Octavia bars anymore. I'm going to find my own bars. Uh, while you're on transition, please stick to the Octavia fuelings. If you're on the Octavia program, don't change those right now. When you get to maintenance is when you can start trying some other things to substitute in for the Optivia fuelings if you wanna move away from those. But while you are on transition, if you're transitioning from Optivia, please stick with those fuelings during the transition phase. It's, it is what has worked to get you to lose your weight. So let's keep using those for now. And I will talk to you when we get to maintenance about what you can do if you want to stop using Optivia fuelings. 
And lastly, I want to remind you that you are creating healthy habits and these are healthy habits for life. I have said this many times, if you are not willing to give up certain foods, uh, certain food groups, certain um, habits, certain drinks, if you're not willing to give those up, then you're wasting your money on a weight loss program because losing weight can be the easy part, the maintaining is the hard part, and that means lifelong changes. You have to completely change what you are doing. There are things that I have had to give up that I know I am not going to be able to eat, at least on a regular basis. Things like bread and pasta are kryptonite for me. I cannot have those on a regular basis in my diet. And I have to be very thoughtful about uh, those things that I choose to add back into my diet and really keep an eye on the scale uh, because that's just very important for me. So don't get complacent, work on those healthy habits. You, the ha habit of eating six times a day, six small meals is a, an incredible habit. It's a lifelong habit that you are com continually fueling your body. And that's what you need to continue to do uh, while you are transitioning. So week one transition, five fuelings, one lean and green, you're still weighing and measuring all of your components for your lean and green, and you're just adding in one cup of vegetables or two cups of leafy greens if you want to do it that way. Um, but I found it was best to divide those into two half cups instead of trying to do it in one whole cup. I hope that's helpful for you this week as you start week one of transition, please feel free to reach me, reach out to me. Leave comments in the comments box down below if you have questions about week one. My contact information is in the description box below the video. I hope that, again, that this is helpful to you. And until I see you next time, please live in the light. Mm -hmm.